We'll take your Bible and go to Hebrews chapter number four this morning. And I want to give us something that is really important for us to understand. Uh, Jesus didn't just die for sin so that it could be paid off. Jesus opened a door or made a way to God that sin had closed. Uh, we are now able to enter into a relationship with God that was previously unavailable to us. And it begins right now at the moment of salvation. We begin to piece by piece apprehend that life that was taken from us when sin entered into the human race. So, so watch what happens here. And really, it gives us a, a pointed place or a specific place to look to uh, for the details of that open door. Starting with verse number 12 in chapter number 4 of Hebrews, notice what it says here. It says, For the word of God is quick and powerful uh, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, uh, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Wow, that's a powerful statement that God knows the difference between your thoughts and your intents right between there. The, the word of God can cut between those things and help us see that even though uh, my thought was this, the intent of my heart was that. That's how clearly the word of God is able to help us get on the right path. He goes on, he says, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. That means visible in its entirety, visible in his sight, but but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him who, uh, with whom we have to do. That means the one we have to uh, make amends to every single thing that we think, every single thing that we do, every reason we do it, every motive that we have, every hope and dream, all of those things are open and bare before the Lord. The word of God is able to discern those things. It goes on in verse number 14, it says, seeing then that we have a great high priest, that's Jesus, the one that is passed into the heavens, <clears throat> Jesus, the son of God, let us hold fast our profession for we uh, <clears throat> excuse me have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin that's critical right there he went through the very same human events and circumstances he went from a from birth uh, to a grown man without sin he traveled the same paths and so he can but he, but he can also sympathize with us in those circumstances verse number 16 tells us because of all of that uh, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. This is what has been opened up to us. We now can come boldly before the Lord and he has exactly what we need to navigate uh, the sin and the struggles of this earthly existence. It's not something that we inherit uh, later on when we die and go to heaven. This is something we can have right now because the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It can help us see the difference between what I think I am trying to do and what my heart is actually attempting to do. And I think that's something really important for us to understand that we can think we had right motives, but only the word of God can display for us what a right motive actually is. And so I want to encourage you today to recognize that Jesus has made the way to God open, that sin closed for all. This is open to all who believe. Anyone who believes this door is wide open. God will guide us through his word into a life that pleases him. Have a great day.